It's a Momo. She... What's going on? Settle down. Tell me what happened. I'm sorry. Um, Samomo, she's been hit by a truck. No, no, Samomo, no way! So this is it for me, huh? Well, I lived a good life. No regrets! Samomo! Dad, take care of that thing. Don't let Mom find out. Okay. What's going on here? What do you think? I'm dying! Yeah, we're practicing for a play. She's such a good actress. I almost started crying. What? We take this very seriously. Stop it, you two. But you two were doing the same thing the other day. What? I never. Look at this! Huh? Leave me. Go on without me. Himori, I can't just leave you here. Mom, come on. It's okay. If we stay, we're all gonna die. Go on, live! And look at me. I can't walk anymore. Himori! Yori, take care, Simomo. Pew pew! Ugh! Mommy! Then, Himari passed away. She died a hero. Alright, cut! That was good! That's how I wanna die, okay? Oh, Himari, can we stop doing this? I'm getting really upset. <sighs> what? I don't remember this. Wait, Simomo, you slipped some whiskey into my drink, didn't you? Don't look at me. I know nothing. I know it was you. I told you to stop doing that to me. I tried, but it was too tempting. Yeah, it's pretty funny seeing you drunk. Iori, you're supposed to stop her. Ugh, I'm so embarrassed. Why does this always happen to me? I'm Himari. I'm a housewife. I'm not very good with alcohol, especially whiskey. But I'm a normal person when I'm sober, honestly. But when I drink, I become a completely different person. So I always stay away from that stuff. But sometimes, Samomo slips them into my drinks. I can't let this happen again. No way! The next day, I was hanging out with an old friend of mine. Ayane. <sighs> what is it, Himari? Samomo. She made me drink again. I'm so embarrassed. This sucks. You were always like that, ever since we were kids. And back then, you weren't even drinking. Remember that one time you pretended to be a sloth in the classroom? That was pretty funny. The teacher lost his mind. You still remember that? It's a long story, okay? Just forget about it. Uh, I'll try, but I still remember it like it was yesterday. Just stop, okay? Please. I'll try. Anyways, I heard about Iori. He got promoted to manager, right? Uh, yeah, I think. Th that's amazing! A manager at Sukatoko? That's pretty impressive. Yeah, he's really good at his job. I still can't believe he married me. Yeah, same here. Hey, what does that mean? Hold up, what did you say? Kaori? This was Kaori. Her son went to the same kindergarten as Momo. She was trouble. Everyone stayed away from her. <sighs> Can we help you? Himari, your husband is a manager at Sukatoko. Uh... Wow, that's amazing! Can you introduce me to him, please? Huh? Why? My husband. He works at a convenience store. He barely makes any money. Oh, I'm just curious what your husband looks like. That's all. Please, come on, we're friends. Uh, I don't think so. Please? My son, Taku. I'm sure he'd love to meet him, too. He's always saying he wants a new dad, so... Himari, let's go. Yeah. Wait, I'm not done talking! Kaori. She was trouble. I better stay away from her. But then, the next day, I ran into her at school. Hey there! Uh, hi. You left without saying anything yesterday. You had me worried. Anyways, about what I was saying. Um, I gotta go. Please, it won't take long. So, Himari, you didn't go to college, right? Uh, no, I didn't. Why? Well, I went to college, so your husband is too good for you. He should be with someone like me. 
He's a manager Sukato Co., right? Uh, aren't you married? Forget him! Please! Can you introduce me to him? You can have my husband! We can trade! Mom, hey! Oh, hey, Simomo. Ouch! What's the matter? My stomach hurts! Ouch! Oh no! Let's get you to a hospital! Hold on! I don't have time for this! Oh no! I was so worried about her! I gotta get her to a hospital! Fast! Put me down! It's okay, dear. I got you. No, I mean I'm fine now. Huh? I was just lying. You look like you're in trouble, so... Oh, Simomo. She was so sharp. Thanks, Simomo. Sure thing. Then, a few days later... Mom, some weird person came up to me today. Huh? Yeah, I was playing out in the yard and... Someone came up to me and asked me where my dad was. What? Who? No idea. It looked like a man. When I told him, he gave me a snack. What? You shouldn't be taking food from strangers. You know better than that. Okay. Who could it be? Was it Calrie? So the next day, I asked her. Calrie. Hey there, what's up? You want to trade husbands? No, um, someone came up to Simomo yesterday, asking her about her dad. You know anything about that? Huh? No, why would I? Okay. But, um, I have a feeling something bad is going to happen to you soon. You better watch your back. Huh? You'll see. What are you talking about? Nothing. Bye now. What was she up to? I'm home. What's wrong, Himari? You look so upset. Come here. Hey, um, did anyone named Calry contact you? Huh? Oh, you mean that weird lady you were talking about? No, I don't think so. Why? What's up? Well, so I told him about everything. What a weirdo. Don't worry. I'll never leave my family. Oh, Iori. Yeah, I got nothing to worry about. Then, a few months went by. Calvary wasn't doing anything to bother me. I was kind of relieved. But then, something happened. One day, I was doing the laundry when I got a call from Sumomo's teacher. Yes? Hello? It's Sumomo! She... Huh? It's Sumomo! Settle down, I can't hear you! I'm sorry, I'm sorry! A few days after that, Calrie called. Hey, it's me, Calrie! What do you want? Your husband! He's not home, is he? Huh? Your husband! See, he invited me to this fancy hotel! I'm with him right now! We're gonna spend the night together. What? Can't accept the truth, huh? Too bad, he's mine now. That guy that talked to Samomo, he's actually my cousin. I knew you were behind this. Yup, I hired him to find your husband. And with Samomo's help, he found him in no time. So I started texting him. Here we are. Sorry, honey. <sighs> What's wrong with you? Seriously, your son just passed away. Huh? You heard me. What? What are you saying? What the? My cousin. He killed Taku and Tsumomo? You're joking, right? This is all your fault. I'm never gonna forgive you. Wait, wow! Hold on! Taku? He's dead? No, no, no! Taku, you having fun? Uh, I guess... I think you're lying. Let's try something else. Huh? Taku, follow me! Sumomo, wait! Hey, teacher! Yes? Tsumomo, she ran off. Sumomo, wait! I think we lost them. What are we doing here? We gotta go back. Taku, you've been feeling down. I can tell. So I'll cheer you up. Why are you so upset? Mom... She stopped coming home. My dad and I really miss her. Let's go look for her then. Huh? Sumomo? Leave it to me! Hey, kid! Yo! Ah, the weird guy from before. Don't be rude! Uncle Masa? Hey, Taku! I know where your mom is. She went somewhere with Sumomo's dad. 
Huh? But she says she'll be back to get you, so no worries. But I think she's gonna leave you dead. So Samomo's dad is gonna be your new dad. I don't get it. My dad is still home. What? That can't be true. See this pick? See? That's your dad, right? You told me so. Huh? That's not my dad. That's Dodd. Huh? Dodd? Yeah, Dodd the homeless. Huh? Dodd. That's how you say dad in Kiswahili, I think. Kiswahili? I saw it in the movie once. What? Uh, so wait, who the hell is he? He lives in the park or something. I don't really know. He's always talking about how he's in debt. You're kidding me, right? Nope. What the hell? I wanted to hook up with your dad. I thought we were set for life. You tricked me. No, I didn't. You asked me where Dad was, so I told you. Why would I ever tell you about my dad? And Brain tells his mom that. Ah, uh, shut up! You know how much time I spent on this? Ah! Uh! Give her back to him! Get away from me! I want my mom! Taco, get away! I say get off of me! Move! Ah! Wow, watch out! Crap! Run! No, no, no! This isn't happening! No! You did this to yourself. You were too busy trying to steal my husband. I'm never gonna forgive you for this. Never. Ah! She tried to leave the hotel, but they were both broke. Then, while Calry was crying, Dodd left her there, never to be seen again. After losing her son, she lost her mind. They found her a few days later, passed out in the hotel lobby. I heard she lives on the street now. Her husband left her and sued her for damages. She was up to her neck in debt. As for her cousin... Where am I? I tried to flee the country, but I don't remember anything after I got to the airport. Welcome to your nightmare. Huh? Let's get some cheese on you. What are you doing? These rats will show you around. Huh? Let me out! Nope. You hurt innocent kids. Yep. What you did is unforgivable. You're not getting away with this. You're gonna die slow. We even got a doctor to keep you alive for a long time. Enjoy. What the hell? No! No! Help me! Please! Ah! He went missing. Nobody ever saw him after that. The police stopped looking for him after a few months. Ah! Uh, Samomo! Samomo! I can't hear the TV! Quiet! Oh, Samomo! I'm just so glad you're alive! You saved me, Samomo. Thank you. Samomo saved Taku. She broke a few bones, but she was gonna live. And Taku was fine, too. He lives happily with his dad now. I probably shouldn't have lied to Kauri like that, but they almost died because of her, so whatever. She can rot in hell for all I care. Samomo! Yes? You shouldn't have walked away from the group like that. I know you're just trying to make him feel better, but still, promise me you'll never do anything like that again. Okay. What was that? I can't hear you. I'm sorry, Mom and Dad. I love you both. I don't want to see you two crying anymore, so I'll behave. Samomo. Samomo! Shh! I can't hear the TV! Oh, Samomo, look what I brought! Huh? What did you bring? I got that bottle of soda, the one you were keeping in the fridge. What? That's from a year ago, isn't it? Huh? I'm sure it's fine. Open it! Hold on! No! Let's see... Ah! Ah! It smells! Ah, what a nice smell. I'm glad I made it out alive. When I got the phone call, I froze up. I thought I lost her. I was terrified. Samomo. She was such a sweet girl. And she was so smart. But she was always getting herself into trouble. I guess I gotta step it up as a mom and protect her from all the bad things in the world. Anyways, I'm just glad everything worked out. That's it? Sorry, there's a lot of people here, so... Just be grateful they're feeding us. Whatever. 
Thanks for the sabu. Sure thing. It's not much, but... Oh no, you're a lifesaver. We all appreciate what you're doing for us. Right, Masa? Of course. Good to hear. Ah, we're holding up the line. Later, Sabu! Alright. I'm Saburo. I'm a washed-up office worker in his 50s. I was pretty useless at work, but in my free time, I tried to help the less fortunate. Next, please! Uh, what the? He doesn't look like a homeless person. It smells so good! Huh? What are you doing, man? Uh, just doing some volunteer work. Volunteer work? What's that? Uh, just making food for the homeless people. Oh, okay. Uh, need some help? Huh? Can I? Uh, sure. Thanks. Cool! All right, then! I had no idea who he was, but he was willing to help me, so... Phew! There you are. What are you doing here? Mamoru, I'm volunteering! Huh? Oh, I see. But why? This guy here? His name is Ryosaku. I just felt like hanging out with him, you know? Actually, I'm Saburo. Same thing. Ah, sorry about him. Here, let me help too. Ah, thank you. So these two young men helped me cook food for the homeless. Look at the time! Thanks for letting us help. It was a lot of fun. No, thank you. I guess you can't judge a book by its cover. I'm learning something new every day. I was kind of scared of young people, but they were so nice. The next day, I was still in a good mood when I got to work, thanks to those brothers. Morning, Masaiki. What did you say? Huh? I'm the manager. You don't get to call me by my first name. I I'm sorry. His name was Masaiki. He was the same age as me. I always admired him. He graduated from a really good school. He was really good at his job, too. And now he was the manager. Some say he might be the next CEO. I can't believe he was the same age as me. What the hell is wrong with you anyways? You know you're useless, right? How old are you anyways? You should be ashamed of yourself. I got nowhere else to go, sir. I didn't even go to high school, so there's not a whole lot I can do. Well, good. I'm glad you understand. Just know your place, got that? Uh, okay, thank you, sir. What should I do today? I don't know, just water the plants or something. Okay. After that, clean the toilets. He always made me run errands, but I was fine with it. I couldn't really do anything, so I'm just glad I still have a job. I was really grateful for that. Ugh, so hot. Hey. Yes? He looks so scary. Who is he? Are you the guy that waters the plants? Uh, yes? Good job. Keep up the good work. Mind if we watch? Uh, okay. Guys, watch and learn. You can learn a lot of things from him. Got that? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I can tell he really cares about those flowers. Yeah. Uh... Heiji, Kanta. What? I didn't do anything. Same here. Be quiet. I'm trying to focus. Sorry. Uh, okay then. I'm glad they like my work, but I was terrified. They look so scary. But remember, don't judge a book by its cover. After I finished, they thanked me and left. They were really polite. All right, time to clean the toilets. Hey! Yes? You're so slow! Why are you still cleaning the toilets? I I'm sorry. Your apology means nothing to me. I'm telling you to speed things up. You know how to read the time? Uh, yes? Okay then, hurry it up then! Okay. Here, I'll show you how to use the plunger. Huh? Take that! Ah! <laughs> That's hilarious. Keep up the good work, loser. Okay. So useless. Get back to work. <sighs> I'm so useless. I guess I gotta work harder. Masaiki is right. I have to step it up. That day, on my way home. Yo! Hey, dude! Hey. Huh? I recognize their voices. Oh, Leon, Mamoru, hey. Hey. Sabu. Huh? Masa, Ken, what are you two doing here? These two showed up at the park saying they wanted to drink with us. I said no, but they wouldn't listen. You didn't say no. Shut up. 
drink with us. Uh, okay. I've never hung out with a homeless person before. Leon, stop being rude. Oh, my bad. Anyway, thanks to you, I made some new friends. Thanks, man. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's always nice to meet new people. Let's drink. Yeah. So we started drinking outside. I'm so useless at work. All they do is yell at me. I can see that. Hey. Just kidding. I'm sure you're good at plenty of things. You just don't know it yet, man. I agree. Yeah, right? I think so too. Oh, guys. Thank you. We're just telling you the truth. Yeah. <laughs> you're all so nice. Then we went to Masa and Ken's house to sleep. It was past midnight when we got there. That was fun. Time to get back to work, I guess. Come here. Yes? What's this? Huh? Oh. What are you doing, man? Hanging out with homeless people like that? What if one of your clients sees you? Actually, they're my friends, and... You're friends with the homeless? Wow. So that's what happens when you drop out of high school. Wow. But still, you can't keep doing this. Stop hanging out with them, okay? Uh... Why? We just got this new client. A new clients? Yeah, they're one of the biggest companies in the country. I see, but what's that got to do with me hanging out with my friends? The CEO of the company we're about to go into business with, he hates losers. High school dropouts, homeless people, catch my drift? Uh-huh. I'm saying stay out of our way. What? Do I need to spell it out for you? You're asking me to quit? Yeah, sorry, but it's for the best. The next day. Thank you, Sabu. I won't forget this. Sabu, you're leaving? We're gonna miss you. Thank you, everyone. Ha, <laughs> we're gonna miss you. Yeah. I know I was useless, but you still let me work here. I'm really grateful for that. Thank you, everyone. Goodbye. Ah, finally, he's gone. Our plan worked perfectly. Yeah, good job. The picture you took of him worked like a charm. So I'll be the next section chief, right? You bet. I'll put in a good word. Thank you so much. So I was out of a job. I worked there for 35 years, so I was kind of sad. But it was for the best. I tried to get a new job, but I was a high school dropout in his 50s, so I was out of luck. Can I join you guys? Sabudo? What are you doing here? I got fired. You don't belong here. Yeah, just get a job. You're good at lots of things. You don't belong here. Oh, no. I'm useless. Nobody needs me. Not true. What about those two brothers? Huh? Yeah. Then... Saburo! Saburo! Sir? There you are! Please come back to us! Please! Huh? I said we need you back! What's going on? I told my client about you and how I let you go. Then he threatened to terminate the contract. Huh? Please come back, please. Uh. Mr. Ugumori, thank you so much for coming. It's such an honor to meet you. Hey, is Saburo here? Huh? Saburo, that old guy. Oh, him. He actually quit a few days ago. What? Yeah, look here. I saw him hanging out with a bunch of homeless people. It was embarrassing, so we told him to leave, and he did. Hey now, don't show them that. They don't have to see that. But yeah, you don't have to worry about anything. He's gone now, so... Uh, we're actually friends with them too. Huh? Yeah, I'm friends with them too. You're joking, right? <laughs> Good one. Wait a minute. What is it? Look here. Is that... That's us. Uh, wait, so you're not kidding? Nope. Let's go, Mamoru. Okay. Uh, hold on! Please! Please, wait! So, yeah. I didn't know you were friends with the Ugumori brothers. Why didn't you tell me? Wait, what? I didn't even know they were famous. And all those things you said about this new client? You were lying? Uh, just listen to me, okay, please? Just come back! We're still not signing with you. Yeah, stop trying. Wow, what the? I'm so glad you quit, Sabu. Yeah, we needed his help with something anyways. Uh-huh. 
We talked to our friend, too. They're willing to help you out, man. Uh-huh. Just trust us, okay? Forget about these assholes. Yeah, come with us. Seriously? But I'm useless. Yeah, he can't do anything. We don't want you. We want Sabu. Yeah, come on. Uh, okay. Congrats, man. Told ya. Masa, Ken, come on. Huh? Huh? We need you too. Huh? Us too? What? But they're homeless. These guys are worthless. You sure about that? Come on, let's go, man. Forget them. Wait! Oh, and it was all you, right? I know everything. Years ago, Saburo was gonna get promoted before you, and you couldn't stand that. So, you started spreading a bunch of rumors about him. You tried to make him quit, but you couldn't. So that's why you did this, right? What? No! Not true! Stop lying. We got witnesses, too. One of the guys that helped you, he told us everything. Oh, by the way, he's working on a crab fishing boat these days. Uh, what? Crab fishing? Is he in trouble with the Mafia or something? Don't worry about it, okay? Let's get out of here. They'll probably come after you, too. Have fun. Okay, then. Come on, let's go. Okay. Then, a few days later, we're here to pick you up. Who are you? We're friends of the Ugumori brothers. Uh, wait, so you're with the Mafia? Stop saying that. You'll get us all in trouble. Okay, then. Time to get to work. You're gonna make us a lot of money. Your job is to catch tuna and crabs. Then, when you're done with that, you're off to the Kon Papeng Falls. Uh, Kon Papeng Falls? It's a waterfall in Laos. It's a pretty big waterfall. You actually catch a lot of fish there. They put this wire up across the waterfall and... I hear it's pretty dangerous, but you'll be fine. No! No! Please! Try not to die, okay? So, they got shipped off. They couldn't come back until they made enough money to pay me for damages. On the other hand, Masa, Ken, and I all got jobs at the Ogumori Brothers' company. Hello there. Who are you? Our job was to help out the homeless people. We talked to them, set up shelters, and helped them get their lives back on track. And the people from the Mafia helped too. We were able to help a lot of people. This is amazing, Leon, Mamoru. What are you talking about? You guys have done so much. All I could do was make food for them, but you changed people's lives. And I'm really glad that I could help. And your friends at the Mafia, they helped us out tremendously. You guys are amazing. You got it all wrong, man. Huh? You're the one that inspired us. Me? Yeah. If it wasn't for you, none of this would have happened. Yeah, it's all thanks to you. Yep, this all happened because of you, Sabu. Remember that. Yup. Oh, really? Yeah, man. I've always wanted to help others, so this made me really happy. I guess hard work does pay off. Life is good. Bean sprouts again today? Sorry, Joe, that you have to eat bean sprouts every day. Oh, nah, no, 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 it's fine. Don't worry, I love bean sprouts. I'm really sorry. So I'm saying it's fine. Bean sprouts are delicious. Joe, come to think of it, I haven't paid for your school lunch money either. I'll go talk to your teacher and ask them to wait just a little more for it. Sorry. I'm Joe, and I'm 28 years old. The story I'm going to talk to you about is when I was in elementary school. I grew up in a single mother household. When I was in elementary school, my father passed away due to illness. With that, we fell into poverty. Nah, maybe we were already very poor from the beginning. It wasn't any insurance either. That situation got worse and we ended up in the dumps. My mother had a weak body and couldn't work too much. Apparently my mother even had a debt and our future was dark. That's what I thought at the time. One day after school, the teacher called me out. Hey, Joe. What is it? Can't you at least buy a PE uniform? Oh, um... And you haven't paid for lunch money either, right? Your mother contacted us the other day, asking us to wait a little longer. Yes, that's why I'm not eating lunch. Listen up. Because you don't eat lunch, the other teachers lecture me. Oh. 
Eat lunch and pay for it. And get ready with your PE uniform too. Oh, uh, but my family has no money. Right, your mother was poor, right? Y yeah. Then she should sell her body. Huh? Sell her body? Ugh, oh, nothing. I guess it'll make things worse if I say this. Anyway, the other teachers are telling me to do something about you and it's troublesome. So do something! Something? Well then, go home. <sighs> really troublesome you are. At that time, I didn't know what my second grade teacher meant by sell her body. When I think about it now, he sure was a terrible teacher. And as I walked home... Kappa Kappa! If Rin eats a Mr. Kappa, Rin is full of energy! Oh, it's Joe! Yoo-hoo! Oh, Rin! This is Rin, my classmate. She's also a poor girl from a single mother household. I decided to give this to you as a present, Joe. Uh, this is... I made Mr. Kappa during lunch today at school. Today we had rice and cucumber, so... And I brought dried seaweed from home. I, I don't need that. No, no, let's eat it together. I made it so I can eat it with you, Joe. I don't need arms giving. What's that? Thanksgiving? Oh, I know. It's festival in November. Daddy went to heaven said so. N n no, it's not. How do you not know what alms giving is? Well, whatever. I don't need it. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm? Huh? Ah! Here's your full charge of kappa. Don't you feel better now? Oprah taught me passion is energy. You mean Oprah Winfrey? That's what a famous actress said. But this is the most delicious thing I've ever had in my life. I don't understand the hard stuff, but Mr. Kappa gave you energy, so you'll be all fine now. Okay then, bye. See you, Joe. Hey, wait a second. For some reason, Rin often came to talk to me. Three days later, the teacher called me out again. Hey, Joe. Yes? Don't yes me. Where is your P.E. uniform lunch money? Uh, um... I see. I understand what you mean. Then fine. Huh? You sure are getting ready for something bad to happen. What does that mean? If you don't want that to happen, do something about it until tomorrow. Uh, um... Even if he says that, I decided to talk about it to my mother when I get home. But... Mom? Sorry, Joe. I'm really busy with work right now. Can we talk about it later? Uh, okay. My mother's hands were all worn out from work. Her hair was a mess, too. I just couldn't ask for her to buy me a PE uniform nor pay for my lunch money. She always ate less than me, too. Hey! Hmm? What? What do you mean, what? I'm Jake for sixth grade. You're for my dad's class, right? Huh? Dad? Your class teacher is Jake's father. So? Are you stupid? I heard that you don't listen to my dad at all. Yes, I do. No, you don't. You don't pay for lunch and you don't pay your PE uniform either, right? No, I will pay. And I plan on buying one, but I just don't have any money right now. Don't make excuses. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Take. Amazing how we can get allowance from this, huh? <laughs> really? To stop! Shut up! I got beaten up by the two. Yeah! Stop! Who the hell are you? We'll beat you up too! Uh, I'm Rin. Rin? We don't know you. You're in our way! Move! N no, I won't! Hey, Rin, you should leave. This has nothing to do with you. No, it does have something to do with me, because you're my friend, Joe. Stop! You won't be able to beat them! Ugh, so troublesome! Let's get them both! Yeah, let's! To stop! Don't touch Red! Ah! Is that a chupacabra? Huh? A chupacabra? It, where, where is it? How is there a blood-sucking unidentified creature here? Joe, no! Ah, uh, right. Huh? Where did they go? Shucks! They escaped! With that... Ren and I were able to run away from them. Don't do anything dangerous like that again! Ah, why are you upset? They're older than us, you know? And you're a girl, Ren. Joe! What is it? Don't let out a big voice like that suddenly. 
Doesn't matter whether you're older than us or that I'm a girl. I helped you because I wanted to. Whether they're older because I'm a girl, that doesn't become a reason to not help you. What? Right, here. Him? What's this? I saw you getting scolded by the teacher to buy PE clothes, so I'll give you my brothers. Huh? But won't he wear them too? Nah, he's too big to wear them now, so it's fine. Oh, but... It's okay, take it. Really? Yeah. Joe? What is it? Thank you. Huh? What do you mean? Nah, <laughs> nothing. With that, I got Rin's brother's old PE clothes. When I got home, I took a look at them and realized... There it said, Grade 2, Class 2, Suzumori? Hmm. We were also in Grade 2, Class 2. So, her brother was in the same class, too? Wait, did Rin really have a brother? The next day, I understood everything. Uh-oh, Rin's not here? Ah, oh, Susan Mori won't be here anymore. Huh? Anyway, I see you brought your PE uniform. Is it because of them? Maybe I'll ask them again. <laughs> Hurry with the lunch money, too, okay? Hey, are you listening? Uh, yes? This was Rin's PE uniform. She didn't have a brother after all. I heard later that Ren and her family escaped from home at night because they couldn't pay back their debt. Even though she was in such a situation, she always tried to make me feel better by giving me Kappa Sushi. She did so much for me, and I wasn't even able to say thank you. The little me in elementary school was so regretful that I wasn't able to say thank you to Ren, and that she disappeared before I could do anything in return for her helping me. I remember crying in my bed that night. 20 years after that, and I'm now a full-grown man. I wonder what Rin is doing now. Hey! What are you, in a daze? Oh, Chief, sorry. You wouldn't be able to make good sushi if in your own world like that, you know? Yes, sir. Well then, I'm going out for a while, so look after the store, okay? I now work at a sushi restaurant. The reason why I decided to work here? That was because the cap of sushi that Rin gave me back then was so good, I couldn't forget about it. It was so delicious, and I wanted to make it again. And maybe I'll be able to meet Rin if I worked at a sushi restaurant. And that's what I thought. Of course, it didn't go that easily, though. Oh, it's already this late? I should close the store soon. Uh, excuse me? Are you still open? I would like to order one cap of sushi. Oh, I'm sorry. We're just about to close. Oh, is that so? Hmm? Her clothes are really old and weary. Maybe she's in trouble. Well, then, I, I guess I could make her some. Mommy, that's too bad. I wanted to eat a Mr. Kappa. I'm sorry, and it was your birthday. Mr. Kappa? Huh? Could, could she be? No, it has to be. Please, take a seat there. Huh? Huh? Little girl, what's your name? I'm Hannah. I see, little Hannah. Hannah, you could eat all you want today. Really? Yay! Yeah, it's all on me. Thank you. What? No, that's too much. Rin, you sit down too. I'll let you eat as much Kappa Sushi as you want. Uh huh? How do you know my name? Did you forget about me? It's me, Joe. Oh, Joe? So just sit and eat. You're hungry, right? As I thought, she really was Rin. As I made the sushi, I asked Rin why she was in such a terrible, worn out state. Apparently, after that, Rin and her mother lived in a harsh life while paying back for their debt. When she started working, she reunited with Take at her workplace. Take happened to be the president of the company she worked at. He told her that he will pay for her debt if she married him, and she accepted, but... <laughs> Stop! Don't hit Hannah! Shut up! I'm the one who paid back for your debt, you know! Listen to my orders! Uh, ow! <laughs> so you have a good punching bag now, huh? She was beaten up by them like this every day. She endured the violence towards her, but couldn't stand Hannah getting hurt and decided to run away. So that happened. That was when the door opened once again. Oh, Jake! Lucky! I found them! <laughs> Your husband's here to get ya! Uh, uh... You were in a place like this, huh? St stay away! I won't go back to that house anymore! I don't wanna! Huh? Whatever, just come! Let me go! Hannah, you come with Grandpa, okay? No! Ugh, 
What does a sushi chef have to do with this? You just shut up and make sushi! This is a problem within our family! That's right! Well, I cannot just let this be. What did you say? My son is a company president, you know. He's not someone that a lowlife like you can go against. So, you really don't change, huh, teacher? Huh? Who are you? It's Joe. Huh? Joe? Who's that? Ah, uh, isn't it him? The guy that we beat up a long time ago to get allowance? Ah, uh, him! Ah, uh, the poor boy Joe, huh? So, you make sushi at a place like this now. It is an expensive sushi restaurant, but you're probably just an apprentice, right? You probably don't get paid well either. And you live a life in poverty still, right? Poor thing. Nah, that's not true. Huh? Joe is the chief starting today. Huh? Chief? What are you talking about? Anyway, why are you all worn out? Well, I don't know what's going on, but anyway, don't bother us, Joe. If you continue this, we'll beat you up like we did in the past. What a fight? It's been 20 long years. Okay, let's go, Red. No. So I'm saying, get your dirty hands off of her. Ah! Gah! Jake, let's just beat him up now. Yeah, get him. Well, I don't mind. It's not my problem if you regret it, okay? Ah! Joe. And then... Ah! Ah! Gah! Huh? Joe, you're so strong. So cool! The truth is, I go to a boxing gym. I was so regretful that I couldn't protect Rim back then. And so, I wanted to become stronger. And it was at the gym that I met the sushi chef. When I asked him to make me his apprentice, he gladly accepted. Well then, now leave the rest to me! Huh? To you, Chief? Yeah, but in return, I need you to look after the restaurant for me. But what are you gonna do, Chief? The truth is, Joe, this sushi chief job is just a cover-up for my true identity. Huh? W what does that mean? I'm a member of a mafia gang, but I caused a huge problem, and I ran away from my superiors. A huge mistake? I poured mint coke all over him by accident. Why would you do something like that? I get many requests from my viewers on my YouTube channel to do so. I don't get it. And he just found me right now. You know, by my superior. But I was forgiven somehow. So this sushi restaurant is up to you now. You are much greater than me in sushi making. Oh, and this is some celebration money. See ya. Huh? Celebration money? Uh, wait a second. Well then, guys, let's go. I heard you did some terrible things to my cute little apprentice that is lifesaver. I'll put you through hell. Uh, no, wait, wait. Wait. Where are you taking us? Huh? That's a secret. Hey, Joe, help us. Please help. None of my business. Please go through hell. You heartless man. What happened to the three after that? Hey, come closer and have a look. These people are punching bag men. You can beat them up as much as you want. Uh, no way. Please. If people like them beat us up, can we kill them? Ah, uh, okay, okay. Hmm. I don't understand Brazilian. Whatever. Hey, hey, they're speaking English. You know, they're asking if they can kill us. Nah, you're imagining things. No, we're not. Help. They were taken to Brazil, Alagoas. A place with high criminal rates by Chief and his superior to become a human punching bag. The money they earned there were paid back to rent as compensation and child support money. So Chief really was a mafia gang after all. As for me... Mmm, Mr. Kappa and Daddy makes so delicious! Yeah, really, it's amazing. I got married to Rin, who got a divorce to take. But we live a life full of happiness now. I guess the celebration money that Chief gave us was to celebrate this. Hey, you two! You know you can eat anything other than Kappa Sushi too, right? Nah, I want to eat Mr. Kappa! Right, Mommy? Right, Anna. Here, cheers to Kappa! Cheers. Well, if you're fine with that... Come on, you too, Daddy! Nah, I'm fine. Hm. Yeah! Huh? Ah, ah. Well? Delicious! Oh, Ren, thank you so much. Huh? What's that all of a sudden? Nah, I just wanted to say so. You're a weirdo, Joe. Oh, by the way, why did you stand up for me that much when we were in elementary school? You called us a numbhead, right, Mommy? Yep, that's correct. What does that mean? Daddy's still a little child, huh? Right, Mommy? Right, Hannah. Hey! Anyway, I was now a very happy man. 
and I was able to pay back mom's debt. My mother is also very happy that she got a granddaughter. And this is all thanks to Rin, Hannah, and Chief. I promise myself to try hard in life to protect the happiness we have today. And thank you. I realize I should use words of appreciation every day when I can. Heave ho! Heave ho! Ren, what are you doing? World's number one grandpa! The one who made flowers bloom! Let the flowers bloom on the dead tree! Ha! Huh? Whoa! That's you! Uh, what's this? Hmm, whoops! Something's wrong! Why aren't the flowers blooming? Ren, what are you doing? Apologize to Haruto! No, Mommy, listen! Sumamo? May? There's something that's worrying me. Yes? What's wrong? I'm afraid Daddy is going to turn into a bald kappa if we keep him like this. Well, that's just terrible. I know this, though. You need powder in order to make flowers bloom on dead tweez. Oh, but Dad said we should stay away from powdery stuff. Oh? Uh, then what should I do? Safe powder should be fine. Uh, that's true. I'm bringing some home to kindergarten tomorrow. Yeah, I'll bring some from my house, too. Thank you. I can help Daddy now. And so what is this powder after all? Um, they said something like powdered fertilizer. What? You don't dump that on people! It'll make it worse. Worse? Uh... Daddy, there, there. It'll grow soon. Don't worry. Aren't you guys teasing me about this a lot recently? I can't take it anymore. My name is Haruto. I'm a 32-year-old man with issues of thinning hair on the back of my head. I, with such a problem, currently live with my daughter, Rin, and wife, Ayane. We are planning on having a wedding soon. The reason why we couldn't have one until now was because, well, this is something I'm terribly sorry for Ayana about, but it was because I never had a stable job and we didn't have enough money. I'm relieved now that I can finally have her wear a long-awaited wedding dress. And then one day, I went to my parents' house with Rin. Well, the wedding is something to really look forward to, isn't it? Very. Hey, thank you all for saying you'll take care of Rin on that day. I'm excited to get to eat dinner with Grandma and Grandpa. I'm going to eat a lot. But you have to eat with good manners, okay? You need to look neat and polite. Oh, okay. Mom! You don't have to say it like that. Haruto, look at your mother's back. Huh? A child's dress? Well, he's so cute! I... I just happened to see this cute dress and bought it with no particular reason. I didn't necessarily buy it for Rin, thinking she'll be happy. These shoes, too. What? You're going to give it to a different child? Oh... Jeez, I guess I can't help it. I'll give it to you, Rin. Just because I have no choice. Yay! I love you, Grandma! Ugh! Let go! Don't cling on me like that! Grandma, I can't breathe! She really can't be honest to herself, huh? Yeah, as always. As we were talking like that in the living room... Oh, Haruto, Rin, you are here. Oh, hi, Haruto, Rin. Hello! Ah, oh, you! And, uh, Miss Kaori! I heard you're gonna have a wedding ceremony, huh? You okay? You have no money, right? Yeah, I was able to save some! <laughs> How lame that you couldn't hold a wedding until this age. Hey, 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 don't say too much. Well, you are spitting out facts, though. <laughs> hey, I'm always telling you to stop that, right? Gosh, Dad, don't get upset. So, what, do you plan on inviting us? Uh, no. Huh? What should we do? Isn't it troublesome to go? Yeah, but we'll attend for you, because we feel bad for you. You better get ready with some delicious food in return, though. Oh, but they're so poor, they probably can't serve any good food. Ah, you've got a point. Well, you don't have to try so hard to come. Oh, come on, you're being stubborn again. You really aren't honest to yourself, huh? I'll go to see what kind of poor, lame wedding a broke family like you would hold. Yeah, that's true. We'll compare it to the wedding we had. So I'm saying you really don't have to come. 
I don't want them to come either. They'll just say mean things. Oh, come on. If we don't go, won't it be an even more broglame wedding? That's correct. We'll go and make it at least a little bit more gorgeous. That's enough of your blubbering nonsense. Huh? Why are you so upset, Mom? You two have no right to butt into Haruto's wedding plans. We all know that the money for the wedding you and Ms. Kaori held was provided by Mrs. Kaori's parents, and that you two aren't the ones who paid. Isn't it normal that we use what we can? Yeah, really. Well, whatever. Anyway, we're looking forward to your wedding. Well then, ta-ta. With that, my brother and Miss Kaori went home. My brother and Miss Kaori always looked down on me like that since a long time ago. Because Miss Kaori's father was a former company president and my brother inherited that company. He thought he was too good for me and called me a broke man. Such nasty people they are. And then a few days after that, one day, my brother and his wife came to my house. Yo, Haruto, what is it? We were on a drive and passed by your house, so... Ah, oh, right. Take a look at this. Hmm? We bought a new car. My, my. Stop. You know Haruto won't be able to afford a car like this. Ah, oh, that's right. Haruto's best is to buy Rin a tricycle, right? Go home. Ah, oh, right, right. By the way, there was something I wanted to ask you. Hmm? Someone asked me. You forgot to send the wedding invitation to our house, didn't you? Huh? Wedding invitation? That's right, jeez, how rude can you be? I heard the place in time from our cousin, but you should do things like that more properly, you know? Really, you shouldn't just slack off just because we're your relatives, you know? That's what makes you poor. What are you talking about? The wedding invitation is... Ah, we gotta go soon. See ya, we're looking forward to the wedding. I have to be careful not to wear a more beautiful dress than Miss Ayane. They just left like that, even though I was midway in explaining. Oh, that's odd. I thought I told him about the wedding already. A little while after that, the day of our wedding. Ren, you have a fun day with Grandpa and Grandma today, okay? Yeah, I'm so excited to see you in your wedding dress, Mommy! Okay then, Mom, Dad. I'll leave Ren to you. Leave it to us. Looking after Ren is a piece of cake. Hmm? Mom? Don't you have dark circles around your eyes? She was excited to see Rin in her new dress that she couldn't sleep last night. You're kidding! Uh, that's not true. It's not like I think Rin is such a cute angel. <laughs> I'm happy. You don't smile sloppily like that. But Mom, you're the one who's been grinning the whole time. Hey, Daddy, can I be out with Mr. Kappa today? Ugh, no Kappa sushis today. What? No Mr. Kappa's today? That's so sad. Ren, don't be selfish. Ah! Here, eat this. Huh? Wow! Mr. Kappa sushi is... Uh-huh. I was wondering what you were doing in the kitchen early morning. You were making that? You really do love Ren, don't you? Th that's not true. I, I was just bored, so I decided to make some. But I love you, Grandma. Uh, um, well... Anyway, isn't it about time? Ah, that's true! Well then, we'll leave soon! Bye! And when we went to get dressed... Hmm? My phone's ringing! It's from my brother! Hey, Haruto! Hmm, what's wrong? The ceremony is starting soon! I know, I know! So, about the wedding... It's a waste to pay for the celebration money, so we decided not to go. Huh? Come on, don't harm me. I'm saying it's a waste of money, so we're not going. Ah, and Kayori said she wanted to tell you something too. I'll give her the phone. Hello, Haruto? A wedding held by a lowlife couple like you guys is just a waste of time and money and effort. So since we realized it's all a waste, we decided not to go. Oh, we didn't invite you to in the first place? Huh? What are you talking about? I thought I told my brother about this. That's why we didn't send the wedding invitation? Excuse me? I heard you guys told my cousin that it would be fun to suddenly ditch the wedding. That's why we decided not to invite you. Wait a second. I'm giving the phone to your brother. 
I heard what's going on. What do you mean? What do you mean, what do you mean? I told you many times that we're not inviting you. But every time I said that, you didn't listen and always told me to quit joking around. No way! How rude is it to not invite your own brother? And you have no right to say that. You were gonna ditch the wedding anyway, right? I won't forgive this. I will never forgive you! Why are you upset? You weren't planning on coming from the beginning. It's okay if I choose not to go. But it's terribly irritating that a broke man like you didn't invite us. Don't think you can get away with this. With that, he hung up the phone. Yep, good. It was definitely the right choice not to invite my brother. And as the ceremony ended successfully, we moved to the reception. Ahem, uh, uh. Oh, the greetings are so nerve-wrecking. Good luck. Come on, Ren is giving her support too. Wh when did she get ready with that? But she's supporting me that much. I have to do my best. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for... Just when I started my greetings. Yo! Yoo-hoo! Huh? Why? And Miss Gayori too? Whoa! The reception and food are all so lame. Ew, what's that? Ew, it's terrible. What is this? Maybe they're using ingredients past their expiry date. Why, you ask? I'm your older brother? Everyone, listen. I'm this man's blood-related brother, and yet he didn't invite me to the wedding. That's right, and this man was the person who looked forward to the wedding the most. It's terrible that he didn't invite us. What? He didn't invite his own brother? That is quite terrible. The guests started chattering and I heard voices of empathy for my brother. Th there's a reason for this! Well, what is that reason? Oh, could it be that you're jealous that I'm a company president, right? That's true. Haruto's attitude towards him did change drastically after he became the company president. What are you talking about? You're the ones who said you ditched the wedding because it's a waste to pay for the celebration money! Oh, we would never say that. We brought a load of celebration money, you know. We weren't invited, but this is a big event to celebrate. See? Take a look at this thick envelope. The money envelope really was thick. The guests in the reception hall started to believe in my brother more than me. This is insane. What can I do to make them believe in what I'm saying? Wow, it's so full! That's what it is. Can I look at it for a second? Uh, what? Hey! Wow, amazing! So much money! Hey, look at this, everyone! With that, Rin took what was inside the envelope out and started giving it to everyone. Stop! Stop right now! I play with this sometimes, but it's my first time to hold this much. Hmm? What's this? What? Aren't these toy monies? So what Haruto was saying is true? Seeing this, it seems so... Ah, uh, um, but... What? Stop looking at it! Do you have a problem? You think celebration money is a waste too, right? Lowlives like them look great with toy money. Terrible. Can't believe it. Stop it already! You two aren't appropriate for this place. Shit! Shit, shit! Ugh, we'll get back at you! And then the two left the reception hall. What happened to the two after that? All of their relatives and acquaintances cut ties with them. Furious about that, they posted everything about it on social media. As a result, it went viral and they became famous. Because of that incident, many workers at my brother's company retired. The sales went down and they fell into bankruptcy. A little after that, both my brother and Mrs. Kaori went missing. I wonder where and what they're doing today. As I pondered such things, one day, the bell rang when I was at home. Who is it? I thought, and opened the door. Huh? My brother? <laughs> help us! Haruto! Please, help! Huh? We have no money! Please! Please lend us some money. Why don't you sell that car of yours? We already did, but we still can't pay back our debt. We've been laid hands on black market lending. We beg you, please help us. None of my business. Don't say that. I'll help you. 
Huh? Win! Here you go! Th this is... Toy money from the child bank? Are you messing with us? No, Rin is drop dead serious. Because you two gave mommy and daddy loads of this money at the wedding, right? So I give back. What? Y you little. You shouldn't make fun of grown ups like that. That was when my brother raised his fist at Rin. Ah! Hey! What are you doing? Ah! Do you plan on going against your older brother? Get him! Get him! Uh huh? Ah! What? It's a legendary judo move. The, the mountain storm. Hang tight. Wake up. Hey, yo. What do you want? It's the food market. I mean, I'm the debt collector. Uh, um, from the black market lending service? That's correct, though. Hurry up and pay. Uh, um, but uh, here. Toy money? Are you making fun of me? Well then, you two come along with your whole body! Uh, wait a minute! We're in big trouble, honey! Wake up! Uh... Ah! With that, the dead collector took my brother and Miss Kaori away. Apparently today, they are locked up in a room and forced to work to pay back for their debt. Well, I guess it's their own fault. Daddy! Hmm? What's wrong, Rin? I decided to buy you a present with this money! With toy money? <laughs> How cute Rin is. She really thinks she can buy something with this. And to think she wants to buy a present for me. I'll buy you a hair growth formula. Huh? A hair growth formula? Yeah, because Mommy was wondering whether she should buy you one or not. Huh? W what is that? Ayane? Uh, um, <laughs> nothing. What is it? Tell me! Air growth formula! Air growth formula! <gasps> See? Could it be? Hair growth formula! <laughs> you suck at pretending. Hair growth formula. That is to thicken my hair? And we talking about items like that a little too much recently? I'll let them know that it isn't that my hair is getting weak. It's just that I'm just moving forward. Uh, yeah. My forehead has been bothering me recently too. But enough about that. Anyway. I promise myself that I will continue protecting my family at all costs, from now on and ever.